Hi! In this tutorial, we will see an overview of the dashboard page in the Amelia WordPress Booking plugin. The dashboard page is the first one that you'll see in its WP Admin section. You will be able to see it if you are logged in as the administrator or the Amelia manager. The dashboard view summarizes all the monitoring information on your website. It gives you an overview of all the appointments, services, employees, and revenue. It is divided into the three main sections. Before we get to the sections, we need to talk about the date picker. By default, it filters the data in the first two dashboard sections for the current week. The first day of the week has been set according to the WordPress Week Starts On setting. The date range can, of course, be modified. The first section of the dashboard shows metrics for the current date range selection. It is divided into four blocks. This metric stands for a number of approved appointments. Here, you can click on the View Approved Appointments link. This action will take you to the Appointments page. You will see appointments with the Approved status in the chosen date range. You can click on the View Pending Appointments link. As before, this will redirect you to the Appointments page. You'll see appointments with the pending status. Clicking the View Average Appointments link will take you to the Appointments page where you will see the average number of appointments in the given date range. This number is based on approved appointments and finalized payments. Here, you can click on the View Revenue link that will take you to the Finance page. The second section of the dashboard displays your data in charts. This allows you to see which services, employees, and locations are your biggest earners. You can also see how many new or returning customers you have in the selected date range. The left side of the section is divided into three tabs. These column charts display the interest per conversions data. The first chart that you see is the employee's interest per conversion one. It displays a comparison of interest in making an appointment with an employee against arranged appointments with the employee for the selected period. When the confirmed booking modal is open to the customer, the interest in the employee increases by one. The next chart is the services interest per conversions chart. It shows a comparison of interest in making a service appointment against actual appointments. This chart's data is broken down by service names. When the confirmed booking modal is open to the customer, the interest in the service increases by one. The third chart is the location interest per conversions. It shows a comparison of interests in making an appointment at the selected location against the actual number of bookings for that location. The information here is also broken down by location names. The right side of the section displays your customer's data in a pie chart. This allows you to easily see how many new and returning customers you're having. The percentage at the top right corner of the chart shows you the change in customers. For example, you can pick the time period from May 14, 2018 until May 20, 2018. In this case, the percentage will show you how this range compares to the last week. May 7, 2018 to May 13, 2018. Imagine that you had four customers during May 7 and May 13. Then you had six customers during the May 14 and May 20. In this case, the percentage will show a 50% increase. The last section of the dashboard shows appointments from the current day. This table provides you with the information about today's appointments. You can see the time of appointments, customers, employees, services, duration, and payment methods. You can expand an appointment row by clicking on it. You can quickly change the appointment status. You will need to choose from four available options in the dropdown. To edit an existing appointment, click on the Edit button to the right of the appointment you want to change. It will enable you to update the data in the already created appointment. If this button is disabled, then the appointment is passed and you can't change it anymore. And here are a few more things you should know. At the top right side of this list of today's appointments, you will see the Export button. This button allows you to easily export the list of today's appointments in the CSV file. Also, in the bottom right corner of the dashboard, you can click on the plus icon. This action will enable you to add a new customer or schedule a new appointment. Thank you for checking out this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to check out these other tutorials that we've created for the Amelia Appointment Booking plugin. 
And if you're enjoying the plugin, please share your experience with it through your social networks. It will help us add new and cool features to the plugin.